Hi, I'm Zeamless, and this is another tech tip for Sock Academy. And this has to do with this guy right here, this cut and cut by concept. What does that mean? What is that for? Well, once you figure it out, it's actually it's kind of simple, but it has a very practical application. Uh, for example, uh, here we go. All right. So let's say we have a closed hat and an open hat. In the real universe, when you play an open hat, it, you know, you open up the hi-hat and you play the sound. But then when you close the hi-hat while it's playing and you hit a closed hi-hat sound, you cut off the open hi-hat. But if I were to do this just it, by default in FL, you can hear the overhead, the, over, the open hi-hat is still ringing out over the closed hi-hat sequence. That's not how reality works. I mean, if you don't want it to work like reality, then whatever, do it, do what you want. But if you want it to be somewhat realistic, then we need to utilize the cut and cut by. So now you can see that the cut and cut by actually automatically assigned themselves based on what number um, in the sit in the sample they are, and they have their own unique numbers, and, and that's what they are. And you can tell by what they are just by what numbers they have by default if, once you, before you change anything. So, for example, this is number two, this is number one, and I want number one to be cut by number two, which is why cut by is here. So, cut by number two. And it's cut. Good stuff. Another cool application for this is when you have kicks and snares, which you might think is kind of an odd sort of statement. My personal favorite use for this is when I do really quick kick hat sort of patterns. It's because a sound like this is actually pretty long, which much like the open hat, it goes underneath the, 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 sec the second sound like it does. And you might be thinking, well, in the real world, kicks and snares do that, so why do you care? Well, this is actually a pretty good mixing thing, because generally speaking, for the kind of music that I like to do, which is to say the heavier, louder EDM, bass music, dubstep, drum and bass, whatever, the for, when these two things collide, the two loudest things in your track, kick and the snare, the headroom goes away, and it, and it peaks up a lot higher than it would a minute ago, which pushes the compressors, pushes whatever you got going on harder than it did while it was just by itself, kind of screwing with your mix. So to change this from happening, what we do what we do is we set we set this up so that the snare uh, cuts the the kick. The snare is four, kick is three, so cut by four. End of story. But Hilariously, we could also have it cut by three, which means that if we do something like this, because right now what this is saying is that the snare is cutting the kick, but the kick is not cutting the snare. So we have that same problem. Although, to be totally honest, the tail of a snare is not as important as a transient of a snare, so this really wouldn't be a humongous deal. But if you're using some kind of wacky sound, which would make this a hilarious deal, this is how you would have it cut both ways. You can hear how the snare cuts off right when the kick happens, which actually, now that I think about it, is kind of a cool effect. Um, there's, you know, a lot of applications for this kind of thing, but this is a very a very nice utility to have inside FL Studio. This is what this does, the cut by cut by thing. And everything has it, because everything has a, a, a channel settings window. You can, have, you can have a setup to it for a synth, even, to do it. If for some reason you wanted it to be cut uh, by a sound. That's FL for you, giving you an option to do a lot of stuff that you have no idea why you would ever do until one day you do. And then you're glad that I gave you that option that seemingly made no sense once upon a time. Yes. If you have any questions about this, let me know. And as usual, have a nice day. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.